Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of the documentary. Uh, I hope our first episode was entertaining in some way. Yeah, I didn't really think that our end of the year project would really go far. But you know what? Now that I really think about it, people don't really know what it's like to live in a dorm with people with different personalities. Especially people who aren't related to you. Hold up, check. Let's stop recording. Hey Clyde, who's that? Mm, I'm gonna be honest, Chucky. It was Rosie. You're dating Rosie now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Me and her are just good friends. Well, that explains why she's so nice to you. She's always so rude to me, Jake and Harrison, especially Harrison. Well, that's because you guys need to let her breathe. You guys are always tying her with your love. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Ever since Rosie's moved in here, everyone has been acting like perverts. Campus RA, we're here for an inspection. Chucky the pervert as he is set up a spy camera in Rosie's room, claiming it was for her protection. Qué suerte de que no hay nadie en casa. Podemos robar algunos de sus calzoncillos. Tú eres un idiota. Why are we gonna steal her underwear when we can search up her computer and look for photos of her in a bikini? What? what the hell is that? She has an alarm system set to her computer. Very send notification to her phone. I I guess I didn't know. And trust me, it was totally for her protection. Oh man, that feels so good, Chuck. Get close to my neck. Just that. Oh man, that feels so good. Oh, do a harder, Chuck. Just that. Harrison, why are you having Chuck call you daddy? In samurai culture, every servant must address their lord with some type of professional title. So you might be asking me, why are you Harrison's servant now? Well, as you can see, I owe him. The other night, me and the IT guy were watching hentai on a laptop, and we were caught by campus security because we made too much noise. When security approached our car, he tried to take the laptop away from me. I protected it with my life. I just couldn't give up beautiful pictures that make me sleep at night. <sighs> they put us in handcuffs and took us to the campus police station. They did a small investigation <clears throat> and found out that we can make one phone call before the campus police were going to take us to jail for stolen possession. <sighs> I didn't know who to call, so out of all people, I called Harrison. When Harrison came to the police station, he got angry. Because little did I know, the hentai on the stolen laptop was his. Harrison was about to just leave me there and I started crying and begging him to save me. So me and Harrison made a deal. If he helps me, I will serve as a servant until he graduate with a pay of $100 a week. Harrison then bribed the campus police to let me go in his hentai bag. I don't mind him. I don't mind. It seems so difficult to find a job lately. People say I smell bad. For some reason, I just can't stop flirting with in the interview, especially if the interview is hot. Yeah, Harrison. But do you even know what that means? I do not know, and I absolutely do not care. Oh. Ah, konnichiwa. Long time no see. Is Oni San here today? Uh, yeah, he's just upstairs watching TV and uh, getting a massage. Uh, I forgot to mention, um, Harrison isn't the only, only uh, child in the Hitomi family. He actually has a uh, little sister named uh, Hamako. Uh, she's a junior in high school, but is uh, taking uh, uh, college classes for, for college credit. Um, some people think that she's just an anime freak, but to me, I think she's really cool. Definitely cooler than Harrison. Uh, the main difference between Harrison and Hamako is that Harrison thinks that he can rule the world with money. Hamako thinks that she can rule the world with boba. And there's a lot more differences, but I don't want to bore the audience. You'll see it in the documentary. But me and Hamako met in the anime class, and we've been friends ever since. We actually have a lot in common, like anime, 
streaming, gaming, and then knowing the shit out of Harrison. Uh, last week, actually, um, we played the uh, Final Fantasy together. Hey, Clyde, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure, Chucky. Go ahead. Uh, does uh, Mako have a boyfriend by any chance? I think she's very cute. Um, Chucky, you are aware that she's a junior in high school, right? Uh, how old does that make her again? <laughs> she's 17, Chuck. Even if she was 18, I wouldn't touch her. Why not? I'm sure Harrison wouldn't care. Would he? Well, Chucky, you are right to assume that he won't care, considering he doesn't care about anything. Um, but if you mess with his sister, they, he'll get so pissed off. Like, he'll make you more than his servants, and that hundred dollars that he gave you will not cover how badly he'll mess you up. I'm very surprised he even cares about him, Michael. Like, didn't you just say she annoys the shit out of him? Well, yeah, she does, but Harrison inherits uh, his, his uh, Japanese family honor and will do anything to protect his family wealth and health, including his little sister. Have you seen Sailor Moon or Cardcaptor Sakura? Aren't they so cool? I haven't seen it. Mm, what about Neon Genesis Evangelion? What is that, a dinosaur movie? <clears throat> At the convention, we saw some characters from Beastars. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen Bia Stars. It's literally a ripoff of Zootopia. And after the convention, we went to the Korean Plaza and we saw a real life Totoro! Okay, we've been through this. He's not a real life Totoro. He's just a really fat Asian dude. Yeah, but when he fell, it was so kawaii! Okay, we get it! You had fun! Thank you so much for the five hour story of what you did at the anime convention, Hamako chan! Of course, Hedy son! <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Hey son, it's Nissan! Nissan! Chucky! Yes, Daddy. Get me something to drink. Yes, Daddy. Hey son, you have a son? You should probably tell Okasan and Odosan because you know that. Oh my gosh, are you that stupid? Okay, look at me and look at him. Does he look like he could be my son? I mean, he looks just like you. Ooh, I see a big resemblance. Shut up, Clyde! Uh, so, uh, Hamako chan shouldn't you be going home now? Like, don't you have, like, homework to do or something? Oh, that reminds me! I have to get going! Uh, where are you going, Hamako chan To the park! Uh, by yourself? No, with a friend, of course! Uh, is this friend a boy? Cause Hamako chan, you remember what the Tosan said, right? Yes, I remember the Himako rule on women. That women cannot date or marry anyone unless they are arranged by the head of the household. I know Hei san! You don't have to remind me. Okay, this smells very fishy. We need to investigate this, Clyde. Harrison, it's probably just the smell of the sushi fish that sits on the counter. Here's your drink, Daddy. Oh, that reminds me. Chucky! Yes, Daddy. I want sushi done by the time I get back from the park. Understood? Yes, Daddy. Are you seriously going to the park to spy on your little sister? I mean, aren't you taking this a bit too seriously? I mean, your sister could just be hanging out with a friend who's a guy. I'm not willing to take that chance, Clyde, alright? All it really takes is for my little sister to perform live hentai on some random dude, and when that happens, the lucky bastard takes a share of my family fortune. Alright? If you were my shoes, Clyde, you'd probably do the same. Can't argue with that, Harrison. Well, I'm glad we're finally on the same page. And just an FYI, you and Jake are coming with me. Wait, why? Why do you need three people to spy on your little sister and her boyfriend? It's just in case things go south, alright? Uh, I'll pay you guys. How much? How is this? If you guys come with me, I'll pay your guys' student loans. Deal? Sounds good to me. So, what's the plan? Okay, here's the plan. And boy, it's a hell of a good plan. Harrison, this is so stupid. Why are we out here with our hoodies down and facing the ground? It's called being anonymous. No one detect us. In this net, where the frick is Jake? Oh, then to see, by the time he left, he was already asleep. What? Is he that tired? Yeah, he's probably drunk as well. In this net, what kind of technique did you learn this from? Assassin's Creed. Harrison, that's a video game. We look like a bunch of thugs about to jump somebody in a white neighborhood. Okay, keep moving. 
Remember, if this goes south, plan B. Wait, what's plan B? Who the fuck is that? Dave, the child is yours. It's not mine. You have to commit, otherwise you have to pay child support. Why don't you just get an abortion? I can't afford it. And also, I don't want to go through the pain. Oh, I'll show you pain. Oh, that's it. Plan B. Clyde, get him out of here. I'll deal with this bastard. Uh, come okay. on, let's go. Oh, Nissan, what are you doing? Uh, wh what am I doing? Well, for one, what are you doing? And actually, I have a question. Why are you pregnant at 17? I'm not pregnant! Wait, wh what do you mean? Didn't you just say? No, we're just rehearsing for tomorrow's drama class. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're trying to tell me is that you're not pregnant and this lunatic here isn't your boyfriend. No! Oh, hell no. Why would I date her? Especially when she's dressed like an annoying panda. Okay, get over here real quick. I need to talk to you. Uh, Harrison, what the hell was that? No one insults my sister like that. Harrison, you just assaulted the guy. Twice. Like, do you realize the lawyer fees you're gonna have? Yeah, Otosan said that the next time that you get into a big fight, and we have to call the lawyers, he's gonna stick a bigger set of chopsticks up your- ah! Okay, Clyde, so I revealed your proposal for your group's end-of-the-year project and I approved it. I think this project will be both educational and entertaining for the audience attending the end-of-the-year film festival. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Fox. Uh, also, why did you invite Harrison on the call as well? Oh, it's because I wanted to make an important announcement. What is it, Mrs. Fox? The famous director, Victor Weiss, is directing the Fall of the Samurai film. The reason why I bring this up is because I would like all of you guys to at least audition for extra credit. Especially you, Harrison. I think you would make a great lead role in this film because of your Japanese heritage. Hell yeah, with Mrs. Fox. My family members are all descendants of the samurai that served the Hitomi clan. Having a lead role in this would really honor my ancestors. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Harrison, because if you paid attention in my diversity in film culture lecture more, Asian and Pacific Islanders have been in less than 6% of speaking roles and less than 4% of leads and co-lead roles in Hollywood films. So you getting this lead role in this film would not only honor your ancestors, but it may honor all Asian actors trying to find a place in the film industry. So after the announcement went out of Vic Device's new Samurai film, uh, Hamilton, Harrison, and Chucky all practiced uh, really hard uh, to pass the audition for the main roles. Uh, the audition included a monologue and knowledge of uh, samurai sword fighting and archery. Harrison thinks that his samurai blood uh, will make the audition a piece of cake. Trust me when I say this, his samurai blood is outdated. <sighs> Well, Harrison, looks like you've been defeated in battle three times. Your ancestors must be very proud, especially for the fact that you got hit in the sack so hard, you may have a hard time expanding your family tree. Shut up, Clyde! Oh. Do you want to apply pressure on that, Daddy? No, Chucky. I don't want your hippo hands any near my sack. <laughs> yeah, Daddy. Chucky, would you mind sparring with me? Yes, Mommy. Mm, Chucky, can you please not call me that? Sorry, I'm not you, you, you think you could fight like a samurai? Samurai weren't women for a reason, you know. You're better off being some whore geisha or some farm girl. <laughs> Come on, Chucky, let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, this I have to see. <laughs> Come on, Chucky, let's go. Great job, Pemico. Wow, Harrison. Looks like women can be samurai after all. Uh, 
Hey, 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 did you grab him? What happened? What happened? Hey, mate, did you? Hey, 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 I'm on an ambulance here. Call an ambulance. Hey, 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 My ass! Ah! Oh! Ooh. Well, don't just stand there. Help me! Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! Chucky, stop pulling the arrow inward. Pull it outward. I'm trying, Daddy, but it's stuck. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Are you enjoying this, Daddy? Chucky! Ah! 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 Oh man, that was even worse than having a chopstick shoved up my ass. Ah! Maybe I should tell Adosan to use arrows next time. You better not! <laughs> Great job, Havako. Maybe the next time we have you shoot, we should put a target onto Harrison's ass. Fuck you, Clyde! So after weeks of practicing for the auditions, uh, we finally made it to the auditions. Um, I was watching Harrison, uh, Hemiko, and Chucky um, with their auditions, and surprisingly, they did a great job. Even Harrison. Like, I have never seen Harrison take an audition so seriously in forever. Like, normally for his uh, monologues, he just makes it about himself instead of just doing a regular monologue. This is why Harrison never makes lead roles in short films or plays. Well, I did take that back. He has, but he had to bribe the directors to make ends meet. Uh, even though uh, Harrison took the audition seriously, let's just say the results did disappoint him. Konnichiwa, Hamako this. Today, we're going to pull a prank on my Nissan. As you can see here, Harrison has an addiction to collecting aquarium fish. But it's not just any fish. They are the weird aggressive ones that Otosan and Okasan won't let us keep in the house. Here in this tank, Hedisan bought a $250 pufferfish. It's so kawaii! Hello, Mr. Pufferfish. Would you like to help me prank Miss Harry-san? Great. Thank you, Mr. Pufferfish-san. So Harry-san is going to take his morning bath in an hour. And so I'm going to drop Mr. Pufferfish-san in the bathtub. According to Harry-san, Pufferfish have beaks that can break through shells, and they're also poisonous. I can't wait to see Harry-san's reaction when he sees Mr. Pufferfish-san in the bathtub. Oni-san. I didn't know that you like men now. Nissan. Oh, uh, Sakura-san, marry me. Lisa. Ah, what was that for? I prepared your morning bath. Oh, thank you, Hamako-chan. Hey. Ah, Chucky! What are you doing in the restroom? You know it's my turn to take a bath right now. I want to shower with you, Daddy. Fish in the freaking bathtub and it bit my dick. Oh, Did you suck the venom out of your dick, Daddy. No, get me a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you did this, you stupid slut. That's a $240 puffer fish in the bathtub right now. I'm so sorry, Hedy son, but puffer fish. Mr. Pufferfish son said he wanted to prank you. Okay, he's not Mr. Pufferfish son, okay, he's Mr. Potato Fish. Hey guys, what? I got one of the lead samurai roles in the film. Uh, Nani? What do you mean by lead roles? Rose got the role of the assassin geisha, and Jake got the role of the emperor of Japan. I auditioned for the role of assassin geisha. Uh, Clyde, this uh, main samurai role you're talking about, what's the exact role you got?
Yeah. Harrison, calm down. It's okay. At least you got a role in the film. I got a fucking background character. This is an insult to me, my family, and a Japanese race. I'm gonna call my dad and I'm gonna sue the living shit out of Victor Vice. I don't think you can sue him, Harrison. He hasn't done anything illegal. Well, it should be illegal. Because how is it that you, a white person, not even Japanese, not doesn't even have samurai heritage, get a fucking role as a lead samurai character. And as in for me, full Japanese heritage, and my ancestors are fucking samurai, get a background character. This is discrimination! Isan, calm down. Uh, I'm sorry if I said something that offended your brother. It's okay, Clyde. Nissan can be selfish and hot temp, but he has a good personality to some extent. I haven't seen him flip out like that before. He gets it from my dad. My father is an honorable man with high respect for Asian culture. He might not see it in Harrison, but he flips out at the mention of Asian racism. Especially after what happened to him. Uh, the first time that he went to school. Harrison told me that he was homeschooled till college. He didn't make it past sixth grade. He got bullied a lot because of how he worshipped our Japanese heritage. Sometimes he would come home with a black eye and he wouldn't tell Otosan until he couldn't take it anymore. After Otosan sued the school, my parents decided that it would be best for him to be homeschooled. That's why Harrison is the way he is. He wants to act whitewashed, and he has a hot temp, which was a mental problem when he was younger. Damn, I didn't know this much about Harrison. Clive, can I ask you a favor? Mm, what is it, Hamaka? Please don't tell me son about this. I don't want him to suffer more than he already is right now. Don't worry, I won't. So Harrison told his dad about the situation, and his dad was furious. Uh, Harrison's dad uh, got in contact with Victor Weiss uh, to come over to the dorm, uh, for negotiations. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a huge fan of Victor Vice. Like, I cannot believe my role model is coming over to the dorm. Mr. Vice, I would like to give you 50 grand to allow my children and my son's boyfriend. Servant! Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. My son's servant to play lead roles in your new movie. That's a generous offer, Mr. Otomi, but I'm gonna have to decline. I think you are making a big mistake. My children are more than qualified to play the lead roles. They are of Japanese descent and have my family's samurai blood. That's great. Um, probably should have done better in the auditions. We seen the audition tapes. They did amazing. Yeah, they did amazing, but not amazing enough. Um, they played it a little bit too... Asian? What mean to Asian? Well, so my audience is looking for something more a little bit, how do you say, white? And really all of Hollywood is looking for something more white. And between you and me, um, you really think I'm going to cast two Ching Chongs in my movie? Nani? Harisun, calm down. Could you believe that guy? I can't believe he called us Ching Chongs! Harrison, I'm gonna be honest. I'm just as shocked as you. What was that? Help me! Oh my gosh! That was Victor! Let's go! Victor, what happened? A fucking monster attacked me! How dare you say that about my family? Oh, I'll make sure you and your family never work in Hollywood again. Fuck <laughs> you! It's okay, Atosan. We don't want to work for a racist jerk like that anyways. Come on, calm down. It's okay. Have a seat. Otosan. Hey, Hamako. Is this the first time our families dealt with racism? Hamako-chan! No, that's fine. I've been wanting to say this story for quite a long time. Uh, I think I should leave. No, stay. I would like the world to see what this story is about. 
Do you remember your great uncle Kai? Uh, yeah. When I was like three, I never really got to know the man. Your great uncle Kai was a Japanese American, dressed like the two of you. So, does that mean that? Yes. Your great uncle Kai Hitomi was a victim of Japanese internment camp in World War II. On the December 17th, 1941, Kai Hitomi shared in the horror of what many Japanese Americans endured after the bombing of Peru Harbor. This caused a lot of Japanese bombers to be alienated from their own country. Before the bombing of Peru Harbor, Kai was a wealthy man. Like all members of the Hitomi family, that all changed when Japanese racism rose in the country. People were blaming Japanese Americans as traitors. Kai's valuables were confiscated by the FBI. His father was beaten and arrested without trial. It was only a matter of time till Kai and his family was taken to a Japanese internment camp in Arizona where they endured harsh conditions and the fall of 1945 after the war ended Kai and his family was released. The struggles did not end there. Kai's family farm was sore and finding jobs were difficult. It took years for Kai's family to recover after the war. Kai Hitomi died when Harrison was only three year old from a cancer that he got from being incarcerated. You see my children, racism is everywhere, even in our wealthy family. Sometimes we can fight it, sometimes we can't. The best thing to do is to keep a strong mind and to show awareness. That is why I have Kreitsan record this conversation to show the world that Asian hate and racism is too real and needs to be addressed. Ima